What's up, X on YouTube? Matt A here. Today, we're going to talk about the Starfield Creation Club. In other words, I'm going to be doing a review on one of the paid mods for, uh, you know, Starfield, one of the creations that are paid for. I figure, you know, I spent my money so you don't have to if you don't want to. Now, I bought this paid mod because I wanted another companion. So I got the Robin Lock. You know, I did the Robin Lock right here. Uh, I did the paid mod for that, okay? And the reason why I did that was because I wanted another companion. And it is she's fully voiced, has dialogue options, has companion quest, has all that stuff, okay? So yeah, I did purchase it, and I can't remember. I think it is... I think it's four or five hundred. Let's see real quick. Uh, we will find out here in a second. It is... I can't see how much it is now. Um, where does it say it? Anyway, so the point is, I, I, you know, I wanted to have another companion because, you know, the ones they have uh, can get boring, especially, you know, when you play the game and you are at a high level, right? So I downloaded it. I paid for the credits. I think it's four or five hundred. Uh, anyways, it's fully voiced and all of that. So you it makes sense that it's paid for, right? So anyways, this is going to be a review of that. So I'm going to go into it there. Uh, you know, it's not, there's nothing too special with it for companion wise. You don't have to do a quest to get her or anything like that. She's just sitting at the local bar in the well. I think there's only one bar down there. So she's in, I think it's called Jake. She's in, I'm going to show you the footage here in a second of my playthrough. But anyway, she's sitting there in Jake's bar and basically she's kind of a, uh, you know, an old pilot from the UC war. So she, I, th I believe she is a Marine pilot or some such thing like that, like that. She has a background. We'll see here in a second and you buy her beer. Uh, you know, she joined your party. You don't have to do a speech check. You, you don't have to really do anything special. So that is a little bit disappointing, but we're going to get into it, uh, in a second. So you can see Cra captain Robin Locke has crossed the United colonies brass one too many times. Now, this ace colony war pilot finds herself grounded with nothing to do but gaze into the bottom of a whiskey glass. So basically she seems like an alcoholic, former soldier, probably has some PTSD it seems like. So that makes sense. And let's see, bottom of a whiskey glass that changes when she meets a starfarer in a dive bar. That's a us. Together a disgraced military pilot and a fledgling constellation recruit form a fragile partnership to explore Starfield. Will the Starfarers hope for a better future influence the cynical war veteran, or will her morally flexible attitude pull another potential filled pilot into cynicism and booze? So one of the cool things about it, as you'll see here in a second, Robin always likes it when you drink a beer. So if you drink a beer, you will get favor from her. So it's very accurate, lore accurate wise. It is very good for role playing. She is great to have as a companion. Now there are some drawbacks, okay? The drawbacks are going to be that um, it seems that Robin is a little bit buggy. And by that, I mean, when you meet her, she uh, always seemingly has her spacesuit on no matter what. So I tried multiple different things in multiple different settings to get her to take off her spacesuit. So, I mean, her armor suit so that you could see her face and clothing and things like that as it is advertised in the game. So you can see here, these are bad screenshots, but it is advertised and understood, you know, that she would Excuse have me. her helmet off at least at some point i've never gotten it to that point where she had her helmet hey, off so buddy, that is going to be mind? one of the down down sides to it wait we're underground you're blocking my view of the homeless people what do you want a military pilot in the united colonies a pilot for the navy is considered the best of the best Defending all of known civilization from existential threat, galactic and domestic. <laughs> Why in God's name would you think you'd find one of them in this shithole? Hey, it might belong to someone else, right? The Navy ain't too popular around these parts. Instead of housing, food, hell, 
while consistent electricity and running water, the United Colony spends all its credits on guns, ammo, and dreadnoughts. Sometimes someone just snaps. And sometimes someone can be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, why didn't you lead with that, buddy? Those are just the right words I need to hear right now. I would love a drink. Just, uh, don't tell the barkeep it's for me, though. He cut me off about an hour ago. Robin Locke, it's a pleasure to meet you, Constellation. Pleasure to come aboard. Despite your slightly suspect past, I have a good feeling about you, Constellation. And even if that good feeling hasn't a shred of substance, I have a feeling it's going to be worth it all the same. Ready when you are, Constellation. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? We heading out? Not a problem. Now, after playing for a little while and doing a mission or a quest or two and drinking some beer, she will appear and give you a companion quest. So there is a loyalty quest that is given with her. And that's pretty much why I bought the mod as well, because, you know, anything that adds a quest, substantial value, it seemed like it was worth it. Now, I couldn't get the quest to activate. You'll see here that, you know, I'm on Neon where I need to be on Neon. I go there, I go to the location, I try multiple different things to trigger this quest. I don't know if it's bugged or if I need to reload it or what. I did try multiple saves. I tried it with uh, two different two different characters. I have two different characters. I tried it with both of them. Could not get it to work. So the question is, is it permanently bugged? Does it need an update or is there something more complicated you have to do to get the event to trigger? Does it have to be at a certain time? If that's true, they should have that, you know, in the, in the description, know. right? So I spent the money on it so that you don't have to. Right now, is it worth it? You'll have to decide that for yourself, but I'm going to give it a review score. Okay, my review score is going to be a 6 out of 10. Now, um, I'm going to ding it a point because right now it seems buggy. I can't get her to, you know, take off her helmet at all to see her face. Um, I can't get her companion quest to activate, you know, uh, acquiring her as a companion. You don't have to do anything to prove your loyalty or speech check, anything like that. Uh, so you just basically go and get her. Uh, that seems to be a running theme and a problem with a lot of these. Uh, but that's the mod. So. There's nothing in there, uh, you know, really crazy. So I didn't get some points for that. And because it's paid mod, that's another ding to it. So, you know, I give it a, a six. I give it a six out of 10. You know, it, that's just the reality of it. You, if you have to pay for something, like I said, I don't mind paying for things. There's plenty of free mods. The creation kits available. Paying for content is great and it's good for the modders, especially because it's their choice to to monetize or not. It's the modder's choice, but does it doesn't unilaterally decide what to monetize or not. So overall paying for paying for creations is fine with me, but that being said, it's going to be judged to a higher standard. It needs to be polished, it needs to be checked, and it needs to be updated frequently because it's being paid for. And you want to get your money's worth. Just because you're in favor of capitalism or buying things doesn't mean you can't demand high service or good quality. It doesn't mean you just take whatever you can get at whatever price it is and you're supposed to be happy. That's not what that means. That means you want good value, but you are also willing to spend the money for consumerism to have consumer choice, right? So I have to give it a six out of 10. If they fix the bugs, they fix everything else. I would say the dialogue is really strong. The believability is really strong. The role play elements are really strong. More Everything else, know. the voice acting is good. Everything else that is written about the character, the backstory, the companion wise, her skills, all of that is beneficial. She has some really good skills. And let's see if I can take a look at that now. She has some really good skills, I believe. 
Let's see, can I get it to come up, please? Yeah, so we have it here. So you can see she has, she does have some really good skills. So she has piloting, which fits the background. You know, the piloting fits the background, four star piloting. Theft, stealth, and pistol certification. So this all makes sense. It's not an OP companion. It is lore accurate and fits in. Uh, another thing with paid mods, I'm gonna close with this too. Another thing with paid mods is Bethesda needs to come up with a review process. That way they can still have achieve achievements enabled. Now I know typically for Bethesda games and you could do this on PC, you could get around it. But for right now, I don't know if there's a mod that uh, enables achievements on console. Now for, um, for PC, yeah, you could download that and uh, you know uh, change the file settings. But some people don't like messing with their files. So for people like that or people like me who don't like messing with their files, Bethesda needs to come up with a review system that says, hey, this is lore accurate. This is lore friendly. This is game friendly. And also, guess what? This has achievements enabled so that, you know, not just Bethesda created content enables achievements. You could download something like Robin Locke and still get your achievement, right? Because this is a paid mod. And it's just a companion. There's nothing cheating about it. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to play with Robin the whole time during the game and keep your achievements, right? So I think that's one thing that Bethesda needs to do. That would be my critical feedback. Update this mod and it would go, it would be an eight out of 10. So if everything worked and they update this in the future, if you're watching this at a future date, eight out of 10, nine out of 10. If you're watching it now for the money, it's not really worth it. It's a six out of 10, unless you do not mind spending and getting the credits and, you know, having uh, a six out of 10 DLC where it's kind of buggy in hopes that it gets updated soon. Uh, so if you're okay with that, then you know, it's worth it, but I spent the money on it. So you don't have to, that's my review. All right. That's the video. Thanks for everyone for subscribing. We are on our way to 200. I'll see you next time. Thanks.